Welcome, Audio Sorcerers, Wizards and Gurus to my channel. I'm Dan Spencer, and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So in today's video, we're talking about the new mix box from IK Multimedia. So this plugin is really cool. It actually has 70 different modules within it, and they range from compressors to EQs to saturation to reverbs and you know just general effects. You could pretty much mix a whole entire song with this one plugin, and that's what I did. I found an old song in my archives and I spent about an hour or two today messing with it and I mixed the whole thing with Mixbox. Now, it's just a rough mix, but you'll be able to get a good idea of what this plugin can actually do. So, if you guys end up liking this plugin, I have a link below where you can purchase it. It is an affiliate link, but any money that I make from that, I put back in this channel so I continue making this great content for you, of course, for free. And I do want to remind you guys that I offer mixing and mastering services. If you go to audiosourcer.com, you can check out my samples and my rates, and I give 20% off to new customers. All you got to do is sign up for my email list. And if you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, let's get to this tutorial. All right, so here we are in Pro Tools, and today we are talking about the new Mixbox plugin by IK Multimedia. And this plugin actually has 70 different modules within it, and these modules range from mixing processors to creative effects. And these modules were actually derived from t rex Amplitude, and Sample Tech. So you're going to see a couple of familiar ones within here, along with several new ones. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use this plugin here. I'm going to let you know what all the different parameters within it do. And then I actually mixed a song. Now it's a rough mix. I took two hours and I just kind of mixed this song here that I pulled from way back in the archives. <laughs> I think this song was recorded uh, almost 10 years ago. And uh, I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like before and after. And this song was completely mixed with... Mixbox, short of, I did need one gate plugin for the drum, so I had to take that from the Slate library. And then also needed some bit of uh, auto-tune for the vocals. That is it. Everything else is done with Mixbox. So that being said, let's begin and let's look at this plugin here. All right, so starting at the top, you have four slots here in which you can drop modules into. This is expandable to eight by pressing this button here. And that will expand it to eight. You want to go back to four just press it again and if you have modules in five through eight and you close this they are still active so don't worry this just allows you to have a more tighter view so if you want to add a module to the slot go to the slot you want to add it to click in this open space here and then you're going to see all the different categories of modules that exist in this plugin so we're actually going to come back to that and then over here, the I button, if you click on this, this will give you information about your product and let you know what version you are running. Over to the left here, this is your input meter. And then back over to the right here, this is your output meter. This is your input gain, and this is your output gain. So everything is nicely structured. I like it. <laughs> so this button here, this will actually allow you to do a dry and wet signal per module. So this is basically a mix knob per module. So that's pretty cool. So you can blend these in and make them like a parallel effect, basically. If we want to close this section, we just press this again. Then over here to the right, we have our power button. And then this lets you know whether it's on or not, the LED. So if I click it right here, it turns it off. Click it again, turn it back on. So red means on. Down here, this is your little mixer here. So you could actually blend the levels of each module here. And this is more useful, I think, when using effects, I would say. So you may not want to really blend your like EQs and compressors. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but you can if you want to. So if you want to close the mixer view, press this button here, and then you're back to your normal view. And down here, this button actually allows you to save a preset for your module. So if you make edits to the settings and you like it, you can click here and allow you to save a preset. Now, of course, we have nothing in here right now, so we can't save a preset. And to close this section, we just press it again here. And then in the middle down here, you have your preset section. 
And these are all the different categories of presets that you have. I think there's like over 600 presets or something in here. It's pretty ridiculous. So it's broken down really well. All right, so that is everything in the main section of this plugin. So why don't we actually go into one of the slots and take a peek at all the different modules. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite ones in here because obviously we don't have time to go over all 70 of them, but we'll go through each category and I'll kind of just tell you quickly about, you know, point out a few of them or such. So your first category is amps here. So you actually have amp simulations plugin. So it's pretty cool. So you got, you know, several different models. You have things from your um, British Tubely, which is gonna be like your Marshall amp. And you also for your bass have your SVT classic, which is really cool. So um, that's nice. And then this preamp in here is actually pretty useful if you wanna use it prior to things even like vocals. So they're pretty cool. Uh, your channel strip here, this is gonna be your initial beginnings of your plugin here for a lot of scenarios. So if I chose channel strip, the first one here, kind of looks like this here. And what it has in it is a compressor and a very basic EQ. So we'll just leave this on here for now so you can kind of look at it. All right, and then we have delays. You have three different types of delays here, digital, a reverb delay, and tape echo. For your distortions, you have a crusher, distortion, lo-fi, overdrive, and overscream. So your overscream is gonna be your tube screamer. Should look familiar. That's kind of what it looks like here. And let's go to slot number three here, and then we'll go over to dynamics. So there are several in here that I really like. So your Black 76, for this particular plugin, this is gonna be your go-to vocal compressor. Okay, so let me pop it in here. Now I prefer the blue version and I wish IK Multimedia would make one. They don't have one in T-Rex either, but maybe they eventually will make it. But this will do for the time being. And uh, if you only have mix box to mix with, definitely use this for your vocals. And then also for your vocals, it's nice to do um, multiple compressors. So I really like the LA-2A, which is actually gonna be your white 2A here. And that should look familiar to you. So let me actually expand this here. And let's see, for compressors also. Um, so the bus compressor. So this is what is gonna go on your master bus and potentially also your drum bus. So this should look somewhat familiar, SSL, hint, hint. Um, and then also under dynamics, I also like the model 670 and this is a fair child right here. So some of these should look familiar if you guys have T-Racks. Now they look a little different in here, but I'm just letting you guys know that they exist in this plugin in this form. Okay, so outside of dynamics, we got EQ here. So there's two EQs in here that I love. The first one being my SSL EQ. Um, I'm a little sad this doesn't have a high pass and a low pass on it. So I wish they would add that in there. Just uh, letting you guys know if you guys are watching IK Multimedia. And then also I really love the vintage EQ one here. Uh, this is your Pultec EQ here. So this will come in handy for several different things. Um, a lot of people like using it on kick drums, getting that low end out there because you can actually boost and attenuate at the same time, which is pretty cool. So let me actually, um, I guess we'll just go over at the beginning here because you can just basically either hit empty to empty a slot or you can just select a new module. So down to your filters here, uh, these things are anything from like Wawa sounds to comb filter sounds, phaser filters, several different things in here. These are effects. So I don't really use a whole lot of these, but they are in here if you want to use them. For modulation, you got some cool things like auto pan. And this is where you're going to have your flangers. And there's also should be phasers in here too, like a regular phaser and then tremolo. Um, these are actually all several things that I went over in the new uh, Waves Kaleidoscope plugin. I just did a tutorial on that last week. So it's popping up at the top right now. So if you guys have time, check it out after this tutorial. And then your reverb section here, you have several different reverbs in here. And they're pretty good. I actually went through them. Well, I used them mixing this on. I was a little surprised because when you pop it on here, like a plate reverb, and it's, you know, it doesn't look all that fancy. It doesn't look like you have that many controls that make sense in the sense of, when I you know, use size, I have no idea how big this is. It just goes in numbers of like that. So you really got to use your ear when you are mixing with these plugins in here. And that's one thing you're going to notice across the board in here. So it's almost like you're mixing more analog than digital when you're using this. So keep that in mind. 
And then let me see what else we got in here. The room reverbs and like these, these all look pretty similar. I think these are actually part of the um, reverb series that's within T-Rex. And this is just what they look like in here. Okay, so lastly, we have saturation here. And the phonograph and the tape cassette are more like effects, but the Saturator X, this is gonna be your go-to right here. This is gonna get you that tape saturation that you're gonna to want to make a more analog sound. You can literally put this on every track. You can put it on your master bus. Just pretend it's like tape emulation and maybe put it on tape one. I end up using tape one the most. I thought that sounded really good. If you wanna get the saturation to sound more crispy um, and hear more of it, you just increase the gain and then you can back the output off. So that's basically how you use that. So I know this was kind of a quick overview. I just want to kind of show you the modules that I like in here and then just kind of show you all the different categories. So I think what we're going to do next is I'm going to let you hear a portion of the song I mix with this and I'm going to turn off all the effects so you can kind of hear what it sounded like pre-mixing with Mixbox. And then I'll turn them all on after and then you could hear what it sounds like using Mixbox. So let's check that out. All right, so I bypassed all the Mixbox plugins. And just to show you that I'm not lying, I'm gonna open up the folders here. So this is my drum folder here. You can see all the Mixbox plugins are bypassed there. This is my slate gate that I'm gonna leave on because it'll be more of a fair comparison. So that is the drum folder. And my bass folder, you can see they're bypassed there. And my guitar folder, they're all bypassed there. And then my vocal folder, they're all bypassed there. And I left the auto-tune on here. And then all of my effects are also bypassed because these were also Mixbox. I literally did everything with Mixbox. And then lastly, our master bus here, I have Mixbox also bypassed. So let's give it a listen. You can hear the before. Cool. So that is the B4 and obviously listen to it. It is not very loud and it needs lots of work, of course. So let's actually enable all the mix box plugins now and let you hear the after. I said, hey, I wish our time could last forever. cool so obviously that is a night and day difference that sounds a million times better and it's by no means perfect because i only spent a couple hours messing around with this plugin today and mixing this so obviously i would do some more fine tuning to it but you can get the picture you can mix a whole entire session with mixbox it has all of your effects you need from your reverbs to your compressors to your eqs to your you know saturation tape emulation it has it all 
there are a few things that I noticed that aren't really in there. And, you know, one being, I didn't really see any high or low pass filters in there. I think there was one on maybe one of the channel strips, but that was it. And then um, there's also no gates in there. And there's also not a blue 1176 in there. So hopefully that they could put that in there someday. But uh, besides that, it really has got, it's got everything you need. And if you are a professional or especially a beginner and you're looking to, you know, build up your plugin repertoire, this plugin covers a lot of your checkboxes for you. And again, you'll be able to mix a whole entire song with this. So um, this definitely gets my stamp of approval. Um, it's a good plugin. The sounds in it sound great. IK Multimedia has always made great products, and this is just another one to add to their list. So with that being said, if you guys ended up liking this tutorial and you like this plugin, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell to have new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later and peace out.